Hey everybody, welcome back to Coco Vegan. Um, in today's vlog or video, I don't know, it's gonna be a bit of a vlog, I believe. You're gonna watch me go to the grocery store. I felt like having some vegan nachos. We're gonna test it out. I'm not going by any particular recipe, just gonna be cooking from, you know, <laughs> my own knowledge. Uh, I mean, nachos aren't that hard, but I'm gonna veganize them. And so, yeah, I'm gonna head to the store and I don't know, I'll take you along with me along the way. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'll be sure to film everything. Just finished my cinnamon bun, that thing was delicious, but now it's time to get into these nachos. I got all the ingredients, um, which I will show throughout the process. I'm about to get into this recipe. I might play a little music here and there. I may talk to you here and there. I don't know, just bob out with me. Bob out. <laughs> but here we go. All right, guys, I got everything set out. As you can see, I got the green onion, the jalapeno, I got the taco seasoning, the salsa, the refried beans. I got the vegan sour cream. We got some Beyond Beef, which I'll use these seasonings here to smoke paprika, cayenne pepper, and salt to season that with. Got our plant-based cheese back here, Mexican style Kobe Jack and cheddar. First, we're gonna go ahead and pan fry the Beyond Beef and season that well. Then we'll make the melty cheese sauce and then we'll just begin to assemble the nachos, of course, I'll chop up the jalapeno and the green onion for garnish. And I really think this is going to be good. My boyfriend, he's going to be our test taster. He's the non-vegan here. <laughs> so hopefully um, he'll like this and non-vegans can give this a try as well. See you in a little bit. So guys, you can see here that I decided at the last minute to go ahead and make a homemade um, guacamole which is pretty simple you just take some avocado as you can see I scoop that into a bowl you'll see that I'll add in a little uh, I think I added garlic powder and crushed red peppers and the juice of a half of a lime uh, I took my potato masher and I mashed that all together until it was smooth and that was the guac
right, guys. So I got the Beyond Beef. And, you know, first you want to go ahead and just add a little oil to your pan, just like with any other type of meat that you're trying to saute. So add a little oil like that. I'm using olive oil. Add your Beyond Meat or whatever meat of your choice. You can eat that is of your choice. Go ahead and add that to the pan. Yeah. Try to crumble it at the best of your ability. I say put your heat on medium to low, um, especially if you have a gas range like me. Get hot really quick, but yeah, just want to crumble the meat to the best of your ability. One. That. We want to get a nice nacho taco meat consistency. You kind of want it to sit a little while just so it can brown a little bit. So you want it to be a little on the crispy side because you want a nice crumble. This is tacos we're talking about and nachos. So we, you know, we want our traditional crumbly meat as if it was regular beef. So that's kind of where the oil comes in, helps give it a bit of a nice crisp, helps brown it a little bit better. Just keep stirring every three, two to three minutes, I would say. Yeah, so I'll keep doing this and I'll be back when I get ready to add in the seasoning. All right, you guys, I'm back. As you see, it's got a nice brown crisp to it. It's got a nice crumble looking and it smells really good. I have my pre-made taco seasoning, but if you have something that you like to season your taco meat with, by all means, use what you got. So yeah, I'm putting in some seasoning right there. I think I'm gonna also put in a little smoked paprika. and the juice of one half of a lime. Go ahead and add in just a little bit of water, like that, to help loosen up some of that seasoning and kind of distribute it evenly. Evenly, oh God, y'all. You wanna be able to distribute it evenly. <laughs> Go ahead and give that another stir. And then you wanna go ahead and put this on low and cover it just to keep it warm. Like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and begin on the cheese sauce. So first, I'm going to go ahead and take probably the rest of the water that I put a little bit of in the meat. I'll go ahead and just add the rest of that to a little saucepan. Along with some salt and we're gonna go ahead and bring that to a boil. All right, everyone, our water has come to a boil as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of each of the cheeses that I have right here, the Colby Jack, the Mexican blend and the cheddar. I'm gonna add probably about half a cup of each approximately. I'm gonna eyeball it though. So you want to add the cheese to the boiling water.
guys, we've come to the best part where I assemble the nachos. This is gonna be really good, very, very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I decided I'm gonna build them inside of this pan for me and my boyfriend to share. I kind of want like a, a Taco Bell, Nacho Bell Grande box looking thing. But anyways, <laughs> so that's, that's what you're gonna see if you're wondering why I'm not putting it on a plate. It's, uh, it's my version of the Nacho Bell Grande. Veganized. There you have it. The nachos are complete. Here they are again. Um, I've actually never even had vegan nachos before, so we're gonna try this together. Make sure I get some of everything on my chip. There. Oops, can y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Mm. Good, as I expected. Mm. Nachos are obviously very easy to make. Um, it's not much of a recipe, so anyone can make nachos just from scratch. But for anyone who is curious on how to veganize it, there you have it. Mmm. These are good. Mm-hmm. Taco Bell who? Taco Bell who? You do not need Taco Bell if you want a Nacho Bell Grande. Vegan style. Mm. So my boyfriend is on his way down to test. And we're going to see how he likes it. So what did you think of the nachos? Really? Give me your honest opinion. Oh. Being that you're not a vegan. It's good. They're very, very flavorful. Flavorful. He doesn't want to um, be on camera, by the way. But yeah, they taste good. I really, I really like them. I wouldn't have known if you didn't um, tell me that this was like non uh that it was an alternative to meat. It's yeah. a vegan option. Yeah. So, it's good though. Highly recommend. 
I do think next time, you guys, I'll try to get some authentic Mexican chips as these are like the whole food brand. And so they do get soggy, as you can imagine, if they sit long. So my pro tip would be to get some authentic Mexican chips. You might have to go to like a Mexican grocery store or something like that, or an international grocery store of some sort to find, uh, to in order to find those sort of chips. But that would be my only recommendation. Overall, these are good and I would recommend. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.